When it comes to keeping your body toned and fit, the go-to option for most people is cardio. It's simple to do and shaves off a decent amount of calories. The problem is, cardio mostly involves jumping about in one place or jogging around your neighborhood. It's a bit like going on the same ride at a theme park every day. It can get pretty boring and take a lot of time too. So, is there a way to merge the benefits of slow and steady cardio with the time constraints of the 21st century? One answer to that is high-intensity interval training, a type of cardiovascular exercise that involves short bursts of anaerobic exercise with brief recovery times in between. How is that preferable to standard cardio? For starters, heat is considerably shorter and less tedious than cardio and burns a higher number of calories. But that's not all. Heat also trumps cardio at improving multiple areas of cardiorespiratory fitness. Things like trial times, time to exhaustion, peak power output, and aerobic capacity. And when it comes to clinical conditions like diabetes and hypertension, heat can improve critical factors like glycogen control and a resting heart rate. Last but not least, heat gives you fun and challenging exercises to do, even refreshing a few cardio movements in the process. The bottom line is, Heat has the edge over standard cardio, not just in terms of losing weight, but also in maintaining overall health and fitness. There are some things to keep in mind, however. First off, it would help to have your heat sessions supervised by a personal trainer, especially if you're a newbie. Second, you need to eat right. That means plenty of fruits, a lot of protein and veggies. It also means limiting your carbs and possibly avoiding your local bakery. But if you do it right, Heat will leave you feeling fit and healthy with time to spare. And who doesn't want that deal?